You're welcome to Vindav's Academy. Let's look at the questions that may likely come out in your physics particle that involves optics. All right, the first question says, state Snell's law of refraction. So in this year's physics particle, you may be asked to state Snell's law. Snell's law states that, that the sign of angle of incident to the, is, it says that the ratio of sign of angle of incident to sign of the refracted angle is constant. That is what Snell's law states. It says it is constant. All right. The ratio of the sign of incident to the sign of refraction is constant. Number two, calculate the critical angle for the glass prism used in the experiment if its refractive index is 1.5. When light is going from air to glass, refractive index is always 1.5. So what should I say? I will say that refractive index is equal to 1 all over sine C. What is C? C is seen as the critical angle. Therefore, this is refractive index as given as 1.5 is equal to 1 all over sine C. Therefore, the critical angle can be found by saying C is equal to sine inverse, all in bracket, 1 over 15. 1 over 1.5, sorry. And this is going to be 1 divided by 1.5 is given by 0 0.660. So we say sine inverse, sine inverse, where is this sine inverse? Sine inverse, no, sine inverse of 0 0.66667 is given as 41. So the answer is 41.8 degrees. That's number three. Number four, say state laws of refraction of light. The law states that the incident ray, he said that incident angle, refracted angle, and normal, all of them, all of them, all of them occur at the plane. All of them fall on the same plane. So he said that both the, both the incident ray, incident angle, refracted angle and the normal all of them fall on the same plane that is the law number okay sorry i just said number four let me now answer number three number three is explain what is meant by the statement refractive index of a material is 1.65 the refractive index of a material is 1.65 it means that that the ratio of the angle of incident to the ratio of the angle of that material is 1.65. Let me put it this way. It simply means that the ratio, the sign, the ratio of sign of angle through air to the sign of refraction of the material in question is 1.65. So let me put uh, explain but further for you to understand. If we have A G, you know what this means? It means that if light is coming through air and then enter into this material, if light is passing through air into a given material, has 1.65. So the, this 1.65 is the refractive index of the material when light, light is passing through air into the material. That is the meaning. Another one, number five, I say state two conditions necessary for total internal reflection. Total internal reflection occurs when the incident angle is greater than critical angle. Number two, when light is passing from more dense medium to a less dense medium. I wish you good luck in your exam. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Like this video and share it. If you are watching from TikTok, if you want to assess more of my practical questions, um, practical classes and questions, you click on the bio. It will carry you to YouTube where you see varieties of questions I have done. Have a good day.